Well, hello and welcome to this uh, second week of our Thoughts of the Day. That's going to be a series of little short uh, thoughts, one each day, uh, to help us, encourage us during this time uh, when things are very different to normal. And uh, this week, uh, I'm hoping to take us through the sort of different bits of the whole Bible to be thinking about questions like this. Why is the world like it is? Why doesn't God just stop it uh, and make it better? Why doesn't God end all this pain and, and get us going in a, in a better way straight away? Now, actually, the Bible does help us to answer those questions, but it doesn't really give us one sort of, you know, very simple answer. It gives a very detailed answer all the way through the Bible. Uh, and so we're going to look at a five little snapshot through the Bible that helps us towards understanding something of uh, the answers to those questions given in Scripture. So that's what we're going to do. And today, as you might expect, we're going to start at the very beginning, at creation. So I'm going to start at Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And at the end of that chapter, God saw all that he was made and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. God created a very good world, a world in which everything was as it should have been. He created a world in which uh, he was, uh, had a perfect relationship with us. We, we had a perfect relationship with God. Uh, we had good and perfect relationships with one another. There was no discord or strife between us. And we also had a perfect relationship with the rest of the universe, with the rest of the created world. We were able to shape it and direct it in the way uh, that we would have wanted to. But things didn't stay like that. Actually, very soon, humanity rebelled against God. And because of the fall and God's judgment on what happened then, uh, that all those relationships are broken. Our relationship uh, with God is broken. Our relationship with one another is broken. And our relationship with the created world is also broken. It doesn't work as it, it did before. This is what God says to Adam. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you. And you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you'll eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. So when we see hardship or suffering or pain, when we see the created world not working as we think it should, when we see disaster and illness, we shouldn't think, Oh, that's just natural, isn't it? Just one of those things, just part of the natural way of things. We shouldn't think, oh, well, it's some sort of cosmic balance or something like that. We should think this feels wrong. This is not how things are supposed to be. Because, of course, it's not how things are supposed to be in this way. God created a good world. And actually, because of the fall, that's no longer what the world is completely like. It still retains some of that goodness. But all those good relationships are broken and fractured. And so now we do get sick. Uh, we do get sick and, and ill. Sadly, people die. It's because of this brokenness in the world. And so when we see that brokenness, when we feel pain, when we see illness, when we see things going wrong, we shouldn't just think, oh, it's just how things are. It should be a reminder uh, that the world is broken that there's something fundamentally wrong with life as it is now. And it should make us therefore long for the one who can put it right. It should make us look to the Lord Jesus and we're looking forward to him coming to make all right, to deal with those problems, to make a world in which all works as it was created to be. We'll think more about some of those things later in the week. But for now it'd be good, wouldn't it, when we see these difficulties and hardships, that we see that it's not uh, a natural, just a natural thing, uh, but actually it's part of the world gone wrong and therefore we turn to God and trust in him. And wouldn't it be good if we prayed that maybe other people might turn at this time and trust in Jesus too. So let's pray, shall we? Father God, when we see pain and hardship and difficulty, we pray that that as a sign of the world being wrong might mean that we turn and trust you ourselves. And Lord, we pray that during these difficult days, when other people see that there's something wrong with the world, that things are broken 
and there's pain and hardship and illness. Lord, we pray that some will turn and look to you and to your son, the Lord Jesus. We pray this in his name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I do hope you'll join us tomorrow for the next in these videos. Thank you.